House Bill 27 raises the liability protections for uh, organizations that wish to donate food to soup kitchens and food banks and the like uh, from simple negligence to gross negligence, which is a higher level of scrutiny. It provides more liability protections. The point is to try and encourage more people to and more organizations to donate uh, food for our most needy Delaware citizens. What led me to sponsor the bill is as co-chair of the Delaware Sportsman's Caucus, uh, we have a Sportsman's Against Hunger program here in Delaware that is starting to lose some butchers. And so how this program works is if I'm a hunter and I have game meat that I'm not going to use and it's predominantly deer, um, I can drop it off at a butcher. A butcher who participates in this program then butchers the, the, the deer and brings it to a soup kitchen for them to have high quality fresh meat. Um, the problem is that it also increases the liability that the butcher has to have in order to participate in the program. And a lot of butchers are saying, I just don't want to hassle with it. If we could provide that extra layer of liability protection, then more butchers will be able to participate in the program. We can get more deer, uh, in particular deer, to the places to help our most needy citizens. The governor is currently talking about crop management, about trying to manage deer herds a lot more. What do you do with the deer that you've managed? What I'd like to propose is that we have more opportunity for the deer that are managed by farms around the state of Delaware to drop those deer off so that they can be used by our hungry. Well, the hang up is a couple fold. Number one, we have a situation where there are some reps who believe it's more important to be able to sue companies than it is to have people have more food in their bellies. The other holdup that we have is that um, the bill provides protection for small LLC and large LLC alike. And there are some reps who say, well, we don't want to provide gross negligence to big companies that already have lawyers on staff. The problem is those big companies are the ones who can give the most food. So those are the ones that we really want to encourage to do just that. The next step is I'd like to see some movement by uh, the Health and Human Services Committee to get this bill out. It only failed by one vote, so I'd like to see some movement. I'd like to convince some reps that indeed this is in the best interest of Delaware, especially since there is a overriding federal law. This, this just matches, the state of Delaware matches the federal law, provides the same in-state protections as out-of-state companies would get. And so I'd really like to see that happen, to allow the, for the Health and Human Services Committee to allow this bill out. Barring that, uh, we can reduce the bill to just be about game meat, uh, which is one of my big focuses as co-chair of the Sportsman's Caucus. Well, one of the reasons why federal law doesn't apply here is because of the idea of in-state versus out-of-state. So the best example I can give is if Heinz Ketchup out of Pittsburgh decides to donate a pallet of ketchup to the Food Bank of Delaware, they are protected by federal law. So they would get the standard of gross negligence instead of just negligence. However, Kraft Foods, which is no more than about a mile and a half from where we're standing right now, would not receive the same protections to donate a pallet of perhaps macaroni and cheese, which they make over the plant here, because they are in-state. So you've got in-state versus out-of-state. So why is it we are providing more protections for out-of-state companies to donate food when we're not providing the same protections for in-state companies, big or small. I think we should provide the same protections for both. And again, the idea being that you're getting more food to our most needy citizens.